Hey everybody! Before we formally start, allow us to introduce ourselves. My name is Ashana Dawson. And I am Jasmine Ramos. And we are here to give you some tips on how to do a basic makeup look. And we shall call this video tutorial... Plan Up With 5. Jasmine, why don't you tell them the reason behind our title and explain our objectives of our video? Basically, we call it Glamoid 5 since we are only using 5 products in this makeup tutorial. Plus, we will explain the specific uses of these products. And aside from that, we are helping you guys on how to present yourself and provide an eye-opener for people who want to feel more beautiful. Well, something contrary to the common belief about beauty is that white or fair is the standard. But really... Beauty does vary. As you can see, Jasmine here has fair skin complexion while mine is dark. That's right. We would like to show you how makeup techniques apply well to our skin types and the right application and procedures we should put on our face for a daily basis. So, to begin with... The first thing we should be doing is to apply primer. Apparently, I don't have a primer with me, so Jasmine will be demonstrating how it is applied on our face. So, this is what a primer looks like. And I will only need a small amount for my face. For this primer, I will be using Revlon Photo Ready, and it's a perfecting primer. Mm -hmm. So there, primer, as it comes from the name itself, is a preparatory product used for maintaining the makeup for it to hold on and stay on the face the way it was basically the most problem happens when our makeup wears off either caused by sweat or the pores on our face that absorbs the product and this is the reason why primer is a must so as you can see, I have already applied primer on my face and it is quick and easy. It allows us to cover our large pores and optimizes the skin surface before proceeding to our next product. For our step 2, we will be using concealer on our face and this is what concealer looks like. So guys, normally after using a primer, we shall proceed to liquid foundation. However, like what I said, this is a glam for an everyday look. So we will refrain from putting a lot of products on our face to allow our skin to breathe and maintain the natural look. That is correct. Not to mention, we are just students. And most schools discourage students wearing makeup inside school premises. Yet of course, we could still apply a little product on our face just to achieve the glow that we ought to have. Me and Jasmine will be showing you the right way to apply it on your face. So, we should apply under our eye. This will allow us to cover or mask out our dark circle areas including our pores and blemishes. So, basically, it is somehow similar with applying foundation on your face. The only difference is that foundation is thicker compared to concealer as to blend different pigments in our face. Don't forget to blend the concealer using a sponge. Or if you don't have a sponge, you can use your fingers to blend it off. This product aims to uniform and create even complexion. Since, as we all know, we have flaws including the marks, wrinkles, and even skin tone, freckles, or acne. And that is completely normal. The only reason we are covering this up is because of how fun and exciting playing with different makeup products and enhancing the beauty within us. <laughs> I 
And now we are up to step three. We are almost done and the third product that we will be using is a loose powder. If you guys don't know, loose powder is a foundation in its loose form. It is normally used after applying foundation, yet we chose to skip that part. So what we are about to show you guys is a method called baking. What I'll be using is Fit Me with the shade of medium deep. While mine is, I'll be using the shade with the shade of ivory glow. We shall apply it under our eye up to our cheekbone. As well as in our chin and jaw. And to our forehead. This allows us to define the face and create the contour lines achieving the glow that we want. We shall leave the powder for about 2 to 5 minutes. Allowing our body heat to absorb the makeup while the powder soaks up the excess oil in our skin. And that is how we achieve the fresh looking vibe. And while waiting and to save our time, we shall proceed to our next step. Our fourth step is mascara. Well, this is two-in-one action since in this video tutorial, we will show you how to use mascara for two things. And that is our eyebrows and eyelashes. Before moving on to the mascara step, we will blend our loose powder first. We shall first brush our brows before anything else. So to brush our brows, we are going to use an equipment called spoolie. This will be a life hack. Not everyone practices this procedure of applying mascara on the eyebrow, but it really makes a huge difference. Yes, it makes our brows look fuller and it is the easiest way possible to do your brows. If you're up for an event and you're already late, yet you're still in the car stuck in the traffic, mascara will save your life. Aside from that, we are not only using it for our brows, but of course, we might as well apply it on our eyelashes. Yes, since mascara is mainly used to enhance the eyelashes, that may lengthen, thicken, and darken your eyelashes. We should curl our lashes first. Or if you don't have any curler, we can still use it. But we recommend curling it before applying mascara. And now, we're up to our final step and our last product is... Cheek Tint! Cheek Tint has become popular especially today. It can be used for our cheeks and lips. It looks somehow like this, but some products appear to be different depending on the brand itself. Mm -hmm. As for Ashana, she has a different type of Cheek Tint. While yes, mine is... Yours. Mine is Caroline's Multi Pot with a shade of Magic Spell. While mine is a brand of Pixie with a shade of Silver Mist and Zarina. So to, to apply, you should dab the tint from your hand to your cheeks, then apply to your face. Otherwise, if you don't want to get your hands getting tinted, you may use a small sponge and apply to your cheeks. As for the lips, you simply just dab the product onto your lips and there you have it.
this is our final look. As you can see, this is far from having heavy makeup. This is light and simple and it allows us to enhance the glow that we want. Knowing how to do your own makeup gives a lot of advantages. One, you are able to save money from hiring or asking someone to do your makeup. Second, you can feel more confident and presentable. You get to choose how you would want to look in a certain event. And last but not the least, you are able to enjoy having a little makeover, especially in this time of pandemic. We are running out of activities to do at home. You might consider this habit and practice your skills to your lolas, ates, and little sisters, and even the boys out there too. And guys, remember, it is a matter of confidence and how comfortable we are with ourselves that matter. Knowing how you do your own makeup is a very useful skill. As mentioned by Jess, you don't need to go to a salon or parlor or hire someone if you need to look glam for a certain party or occasion. That's right! To be beautiful is not with the help of these products. But rather, it is the confidence that is within you that makes you more beautiful. And thank you for watching, guys. Stay, Stay safe. safe. Oh my God.